Hi everyone, Sabre D here, and we're back for part 12 of Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars, the Director's Cut. So where did we leave off? Um, <laughs> his, his crotch is glowing. Um, yeah, that happens sometimes in this game. Anyway, let, uh, I think we were talking with her, so let's, yeah, let's finish talking with her. Excuse me. Yes, sir? Has Marquet had a visit from a pair of gangsters? I should hope not. Can you describe them? A thin guy who looks like a weasel and his friend, the gorilla. Sounds as if they escaped from a zoo. Ha ha ha. So, do I get to see Marquet before the funeral? That attitude will get you nowhere. Oh. My instructions were quite clear. No one gets to see Marquet. So, unless you can prove you're a relative or a close acquaintance, you're wasting your time here. I'm kind of surprised she doesn't have a French accent. I mean, she's working in a hospital in Paris, and yet she's not French. It's kind of bizarre. Has Marquet been visited by a man in a clown costume? Oh, no. You haven't seen a man in disguise? Well, there's Theodore the Bear. He comes every Thursday to entertain the children. Personally, I think he scares them half to death in that crummy old bear suit. If I was stuck on my back with tubes in every orifice, he's the last person I'd want to see. Ew. Is this plaster any use to you? I'm allergic to plaster. <gasps> Give it to her, then we can get past. Have you seen this man here at the clinic? No, sir. And I never forget a face. Hmm. What does this false nose remind you of? Oh, it's the clown's nose. Wow, that was observant. Can you think of any use for this greasy tissue? I <laughs> guess you could use it to baste a roast turkey. Hmm. I'd like to shake you by the hand. Ooh. Don't be fresh, young man. Ah, <laughs> oh, George. What does this tool suggest to you? Is it a crack detector? Huh? Polar explorers use them to poke about in the snow. Oh, no. Huh. Have you heard of the Club Alamut? No. It sounds romantic, doesn't it? Hmm. Look at this ID pass. So you're Merlin. Marquet has been asking for you. <gasps> for me? Yes. He was shouting your name when they brought him in here. Now, let me see. Wow. Who would have thought that he ID was on card would have worked? He B12, as I recall. Oh, he's being transferred to... Oh dear. He's on Ward J2. That's... Nurse Grendel's ward. Hmm. Let's just finish this one up. What does this gem suggest to you? I advise you not to flash that around. <laughs> <laughs> What's so bad about Nurse Grendel? She runs that ward like a South American prison. Keeping a well-disciplined ward isn't a crime, is it? Well-disciplined? In the discipline and punishment stakes, she'd whip the butt off the Marquis de Sade. <laughs> everything, I mean everything, is done to a strict routine. Six o'clock, alarm call. Six ten, bowel movements, and woe betide anyone who doesn't have a result. Whoa. Those patients of hers are like Pavlova's dogs. <laughs> she sounds like a real <laughs> nightmare. And then some. Hmm. Look at her face. She's so <laughs> so angry. If Nurse Grendel is that bad, how come the authorities tolerate her? She's like part of the furniture. I was beginning to get the picture. This woman was jealous. With a big green capital J. Hmm. How do I find Nurse Grendel's ward? Down the corridor on the left. Turn right at the senior consultant's washroom. Right again at the executive coffee lounge. Bare left past the administrator's sauna. And turn left at the end. That's J2. And good luck. Uh-oh. Did you guys write that down? Thanks for your help, man. I didn't. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see if we can find this place. This will be interesting. As I turned the corner, I saw the source of the hellish noise which echoed through the corridors. Oh, it was an industrial hellish. polishing machine with an odd-looking guy in tow. Huh. Well, I can... Well, let's check him out. He looked blissfully happy for no apparent reason. 
The door didn't have a sign or label or any kind of identification. Hmm. Hey now! You can't go in there! How come? <laughs> I'm responsible for the contents of that cupboard! Wow, that's awesome. Well, um... Hmm... Let's just talk with him. Hello! What's that? I said, hello! Oh, hiya! I'd like to talk to you for a minute. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Don't look so down in the mouth. No matter how bad things seem, I never let life get on top of me. Aww. Yeah? What's your secret? Why, it's easy. All you have to do is smile and whistle this little tune. You know what? <laughs> if you start whistling, I'll bust you in the teeth. Aww, he's nice. It's a deal. <laughs> Do you recognize this powder? Is that dandruff? <laughs> no way. It sure looks like dandruff. It's plaster. Ugh. Wow. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Who is it? That's what I'm asking you. Have you seen him before? How should I know? You haven't told me who he is. Take a look at the photo. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, have you seen him before? No. Oh. Take a look at this red nose. Are you a policeman? No, this is a clown's nose, not a policeman's. <laughs> Interesting. What does this tissue suggest to you? You have a cold. What you need is vitamin C. Vitamins. Would you like to shake my hand? Not until I've washed, if you don't mind, sir. Would this tool be any use to you? No, sir. Mr. Shiny has no user serviceable parts. Hmm. Whatever that means. <laughs> Do you recognize this matchbook? You should never, ever play with matches. I know that, but... People get hurt when they do. Mm. They end up in hospital, like the burger lady. She was so burned up, they didn't know whether to use bandages or onions. What? Do you recognize this pass? No, I don't. Should I? No, but mm. I wondered if you'd seen a stranger flashing it about. No, sir. But if I had, Mr. Shiny would take care of him. <laughs> what do you think of this, Sam? Oh, boy! What is it? A priceless gemstone found in a medieval castle in Ireland. Get me into Marquet's ward and it's what? yours. What? Oh, don't word jewelry. If this gem was yours, you'd be able to buy a hundred Mr. Shinies. Don't be silly. There's only one Mr. Shiny. Yeah, don't be absurd, George. Have you seen any unsavory characters lurking about in the quarters? No, sir, I haven't. But I've got nothing to worry about. What's that, Mr. Shiny? You'd take good care of the <laughs> rascals, I'll bet you He's would. Cookie. With a friend like him, I've no fear of oppressors. It must be a great comfort. He is. Hmm. Would Mr. Shiny be your polishing machine by any chance? Please, don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. I've had Mr. Shiny for three years and he's never let me down once. <laughs> oh man, I just love his voice. <laughs> it's like some sort of Terry Pratchett character. How come you got so attached to a polishing machine? I asked you not to call him that. He's got a name, you know. Uh, yeah, Mr. Shiny. It's just that... You think it's odd, don't you? I don't mind. The rest of the staff think I'm twisted. I heard them snorking behind me back when I gave Mr. Shiny his weekly pull through. <laughs> Do you know where I'd find a patient called Marquet? No, I'm not allowed on the wards with Mr. Shiny. Wow. See you later. Yeah. Take care now. You talked with us for a very long time. Um, I wonder what happens if you just go through the ward. Oh, oui, monsieur. Is this ward J2? It is, but uh, you're not supposed to be here. 
We have strict rules about visiting hours. Can't you make an exception? I've come all the way from California. You must speak to the doctor. I can't wait that long. What if he snuffs it? You huh. can't talk like that here. This is a hospital. You will have to leave. Aww. That's it? What happens if you go back? <laughs> I told you to leave. You may come back at visiting time, monsieur. Thanks. Uh, when is that? The second Tuesday of each month. Okay, ma'am. I know when I'm not wanted. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there is this. So let's try it. Ooh, fancy music. I just tugged the plug out of the socket. The polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Mr. Shiny, what's wrong, pal? Hmm. It was a classic example of functionalism. Like I almost expected to see it. Oh, maybe we're supposed to open this really quick. <laughs> Dr. Stobart. Oh, his crush is glowing too. I feel like they're doing it on purpose. Do you, do, is she really going to fall for this? Good afternoon, Doctor. The patients are ready for your inspection, Doctor. Uh, thank you, Nurse. You'll need this, Doctor. Wow, she fell for it. But she just saw us. That doesn't She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. Hmm. Is this plaster any use to you? No, it isn't. <laughs> Let's go through the... <laughs> Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I don't. She doesn't... Care. Do you recognize this red nose? Oh dear. I don't think he'll be needing that again. Who? Huh. Oh. Monsieur Boissy, the comatose clown. <laughs> Do you recognize this tissue? No, I don't. It looks like a chronic health risk to me. Hmm. Well, I've been carrying it around for days and I'm okay. <laughs> Would you like to shake hands with me? Well... No, it's okay. Forget it. Aw, oh, she almost did it. But, oh well. Does this tool mean anything to you? I don't recognize it. Hmm. Does this mean anything to you? The Club Alamut? I've never heard of it. Hmm. Do you know Merlin of Gruber Electronics? No, I don't. Hmm. What is this device? It's for taking the patient's blood pressure, doctor. I think we should know that. <laughs> Does this gem mean anything to you? It's beautiful, but I've never seen it before. Hmm. Do you have any clowns on the ward? Why, yes, we do. A professional clown. I'll bet he lightens the place up. Hardly. Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last three months. Hmm. What's wrong with Boissy? He was involved in a very nasty accident. A silly stunt involving a <laughs> unicycle. His current condition is due to post-traumatic shock. Laughing. It's unlikely he'll ever perform as a clown again. It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. <laughs> Do you have a patient named Marquet on this ward? Oh, oui, monsieur. He is in the private room at the end of the ward. He has been placed in strict isolation. Hmm. Why is Marquet in quarantine? If you wish to know more, you'll have to speak to Herr Hagenmeier. All I know is that Marquet's room is strictly out of bounds. Hmm. Do you know who paid for Marquet's room? No, of course I don't. Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. Hmm. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. So I'm guessing we can't go this way. Yeah. Doctor! What is it? You haven't taken my blood pressure. 
<laughs> Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. <laughs> I can't take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. Hmm. This guy didn't look sick to me. He didn't have mm. spots or stitches, and he certainly didn't have a fever. Hello? Anybody home? Who are you? My name is Dr. Stobart, and I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Monroe said there was no cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you sure you're a qualified doctor? You better believe it. Hmm. Do you know what this is? It looks like plaster. Oh, pretty smart guy. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, Doctor. Uh, who is it? A cold-blooded killer. <laughs> Do you recognize this? <laughs> Could you imagine if your doctor Doesn't that then? belong to Boissy? No. I found it in a sewer. He's a clown, you know. You wouldn't think so to look at him now, would you? Hmm. Have you any idea what this is? No, Doctor. I wouldn't even like this. <laughs> oh. Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Do you know what this tool is used for? I'd rather not, Doctor. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? I'm not really a nightclub man, Doctor. Have you heard of a guy called Merlin? No, Doctor. No, Doctor. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. Now he's asking why we're taking it? <laughs> he's waving. Seems fine to me. You're not doing... <laughs> Does this gem mean anything to you? No, Doctor. Hmm. What can you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? That room was mine before I was tossed out like a common squatter. Hmm. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor, what's your opinion? Uh, it's too early to say. But I've been here for three months. <laughs> wow. What's your impression of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? You make her sound like a vacuum. <laughs> I've no complaints. <gasps> what does that mean? <laughs> the woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job, isn't it? You've got to have discipline in a place like this. Hmm. I'll come back later. I love his tone of voice as Dr. Stobart. So let's uh, let's try to go oh, now. Oh, Doctor. Oh, come on. What now? You didn't finish taking my blood pressure. Okay, let's try... This is bogus. You don't have the first idea <laughs> what you're doing, do you? I'll come back when you've recovered your manners. Hmm. Maybe, uh... Maybe we should talk to... Well, you can't talk to these guys. This guy didn't look sick to me. He didn't have... Sp hmm. Well, I guess talk to Nurse Grendel. Pardon me, Nurse. Oui, Monsieur. Do you want this, uh... Device for measuring blood pressure? Yeah. Do you want it back? No, thank you. Oh, but you would be so good at using it. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. All right. Um... You know what? I don't remember what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I mean... You haven't finished taking my blood pressure. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do 
you keep quiet? You're disturbing the other patients. I'll keep quiet when you've taken my blood pressure properly. I have to see Jacques Marquet first. How come he gets preferential treatment? It's because he's got money, isn't it? I'll come back when you've dealt with that chip on your shoulder. Hmm. Maybe we should just, uh... Keep trying. You haven't finished... Okay, I guess that doesn't work. Will you keep... Okay. I have to... Oh, God. It's because he... I'll come back. Hmm. Pardon me, nurse. Oui, we monsieur. Hmm. Thank you, nurse. Au revoir, monsieur. Well, what should we do? I mean, unless we get help from someone else with how to do it correctly. Hello. Oh, hi. No whistling, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you having trouble with Mr. Shiny? Yes, I am. I don't know what's got into him today. He keeps pulling his plug. What's the problem with Nurse Grendel? She's uptight and twisted on account of a broken heart. Oh, that's too bad. I thought she was just plain bad tempered. <laughs> that also. Uh, by the way, sir, I wouldn't stand too close to Mr. Shiny's grease valve. If he has an emission, he'll take the shine <laughs> clean off his shoes. <laughs> Say, nice sneakers. Thanks. Huh. See you later. Yeah, take care now. Interesting. Ah, another person. Hi, I'm Dr. Stobart. Yes, sir. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I wanted to show you the, um, doohickey. Hi, I'm Dr. S yes, sir. Oh, it... Aww. Okay, never mind. Excuse me, sir. Aha! Just the man. Uh-oh. You must be the new boy. Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop <laughs> wandering about and make yourself useful. Bernie, uh, come here, boy. Uh-oh. This is Benoit, my nephew. Can I trust you to look after him? Uh, sure. He's fresh out of medical Why not? <laughs> it will open his eyes to see a real Dr. Ramsey job. I'll bet. <laughs> Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Hmm. Hey, Benny. The young man's face was full of eagerness and enthusiasm. I figured he was fresh from college. Hmm. Oh. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Yes, sir. <laughs> so wow. what's your name, kid? Benoit. They call me Bunny. Bunny? Jeez, and you don't mind? Oh, I've gotten used to it. Okay, Benoit. You're gonna help me. Anything you say, sir. Hmm. Do you know what this white powder is? No, sir. Hmm. Do you recognize the man in this of photograph? Of course he wouldn't. No, but... monsieur. I've never seen him before. Oh, well. <laughs> Does this false nose mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. What does this tissue mean to you? Is that a nasal discharge, sir? <laughs> no, it's grease paint. Shake my hand, Benoit. I don't think that's a good idea, sir. How come? Dermatitis. Well, I don't have dermatitis. I do. Ooh. What does this tool suggest to you? Isn't that used to snap the patient's ribs when exploring the abdomen? <laughs> Why, yes, it is. Have you ever heard of the club Alamut? No, sir. Have you ever heard of a guy named Merlin? No, sir. Merlin? Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? Well, uh, keep it safe until I think of something. <laughs> Does this gem mean anything to you? Not me, sir. Hmm. Do you know anything about a patient named Marquet? 
And the third, I don't know much about any of the patients. I've never met a doctor who admits that he's only human. Hmm. I'm only a trainee, sir. I'm sure I'll get the hang of things. Hang of things. Do you know the nurse on Ward J2? No, monsieur. This is my first day here. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. I was talking about treating my first patient, of course. I didn't mean to get my hands dirty with the nurse. <laughs> Shut up, Benoit. Okay, sir. That is Follow funny. me, Benoit. I'm right behind you, sir. And then he walks away. Come on, Benoit. I'm going to ask you to help this patient. Will you keep quiet? I'll keep quiet. I have to see. Oh, it's. Oh, maybe we have to talk to him hey, first. Hey, Benoit. Yes, sir. Do you still have that gauge I gave you? Oh yes. What do you want me to do with it? Use it on Nurse Grendel. <laughs> Use it on Nurse Grendel. Huh? Go on, she'll enjoy it. Well, okay. Dr. Stobart? Yeah? I would appreciate it if you saved your jokes for the intern's restroom. <laughs> this is a hospital world, not a cabaret. Oh, uh, lighten up. I heard that. Any more nonsense and I shall report you to Dr. Hagenmeier. <laughs> Use it on Eric Sopmarsh. Okay. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Use it on Nurse Grendel. <laughs> All right. Finally. Sorry about that, guys. It's been a while since I played this game, so. Oh no! Another person. He sat like a statue of a sack of potatoes, but the cop's eyes were as watchful as a hawk's. Hmm. Rather you than me, pal. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, doctor. Hmm. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I have never seen him before. <laughs> His eyes. Can you think of any sensible use for this plaster? Sensible? No. Viral? Yes. But you've probably thought of those already. Ooh. Do you recognize this red nose? Don't get cute with me. <laughs> What does this tissue suggest to you? It looks as if it has been used to wipe <laughs> Satan's butt. I hate to say it, but you could be right. <laughs> oh, game. Would you like to shake hands? What for? As a gesture of goodwill. On reflection? No. Well, no one falls for it. What do you think this tool is used for? Branding mice without bending down. Oh, jeez. Have you ever heard of the club Alamut? No. It sounds Middle Eastern. Hmm. Are you Thomas Merlin of Gruber Electronics? No. Then you won't be needing this. What? Do you recognize this gem? It isn't an emerald, is it? Uh... Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Have you seen any suspicious look like characters an emerald to on me. the ward? Yeah, I have. Who? A gorilla and a weasel? No. This was a tatty old bear. How was the bear acting suspiciously? Well, he was wearing a homburg. Is that against the law? <laughs> no, but it's pretty weird <laughs> for a bear. Not sure what that is, but maybe I'll look it up later. Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine talk, right behind this ear door. Ear door. Marquet is His just accents. the man I wanted to see. I oh wouldn't go in there if I was you. He had. Anthrax. <sighs> I have to visit my patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. <laughs> what if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed as vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, I've been institutionalized to the point of godlike illusions. <laughs> the white coat suits you. Thanks. <laughs> Catch you later, officer. Catch you later. Au revoir, Doc. Doc. All right. Uh oh. Marquet? Yes. I am Marquet. I've been expecting you. You have? Well, what are you waiting for? Get it over with. I just want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachmar gem? Yeah, right here in my pocket. I thought you were 
one of the assassin. <laughs> Not me. I never inhaled. So, you will send in my place? Uh, yeah. You could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster. Quickly tell him that I have found the tripod. <laughs> right here in Paris. You have it? Not yet. But it's being taken care of. I hired a couple of stooges with a flair for petty crime. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You know them as for Klausner. Uh, he has gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? <laughs> he uh, has a theory about the location of the... That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If Herr Hagenmeier was to hear that... Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Sorry, my kitty is interrupting you are, this sir. very intense moment. I was moment. just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. Thanks, Bunny. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Braille. There's no Dr. Braille working here. He's an imposter. Why? The door's locked. Help me, officer. Stand back, monsieur. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Hello, George. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to end it for here. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out what happens next in the next video. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.